This is the Windbloom Festival in a nutshell. The event starts with Paimon and Traveler realizing they got laid off. Really, Catherine? During a pandemic, you get the gist of the event from Flora. The festival is all about celebrating freedom and adventure and wind. Everyone picks a flower they like that they believe represents what a wind bloom is. She then tells you that she believes that dandelions are the wind bloom, until Quinn um actually is you saying that windwheel asters are the symbol and not the dandelion. We loyal windwheel aster advocates are upholding our economic duty. Who's with me? Windwheel Aster, the true wind bloom. First of all, Quinn, rude. And second, maintaining what economic duty? Your but shop has been open lower. precisely never. So Venti is a pickup artist now, chilling under a statue, teaching his students Mondstadt's version of the art of seduction. Venti gives you some more explanation to why you're currently unemployed for the foreseeable future. Then he tasks you with understanding Mondstadt's traditions and customs by getting to do his job for him to speed up the process. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't mind me, Venti. I'll be with you in a second. Seeing as though you're not paying me for this, I'm just going to busk in the middle of the street to make ends meet today. Venti micromanages you as you help three hopeless romantics. The son of an elitist father, a nervous Nelly who's a big fan of Jean, and the Genshin Twitter fanbase incarnate. Barbara -sama. Kaya then strolls in and asks Venti to be his poem tutor and to strike a deal. Venti will diligently oversee Kaya's poem progress by correcting his homework in exchange for a night of binge drinking. Then Traveler and Fancy Pants Glowy Braids help Nimrod, Kaya's drinking buddy, to try to save his marriage by helping him build a birdhouse that glows in the dark and by reinforcing an empty promise to stop being an alcoholic. Kaya then finishes his homework and the teach reads it out loud, and the poem is just, I love you, in Hillichurl. Coherent and to the point, a love poem has to convey the style of its author, you know? Kaya, you shoot snowflakes out of your fingers and you wear an eye patch as a fashion statement. I'm not really sure plain and simple applies for you here. Huh? I just caught sight of a suspicious figure. On your right. Next up on the help list is Jean and the resident Masso Electricist, and they tell you to do something, and quite honestly, I don't remember what they were talking about because right afterwards we go to the cathedral. In the cathedral, Barbara is having a mental breakdown because she gets suspicious over a letter saying that they buried something most precious to her, and she believes that they have Jean. Rosaria, the church scene kid, who I suspect has a pretty terrible iron deficiency, reassures her that one of the most overpowered units in the game hasn't succumbed to <laughs> generic enemies from Mondstadt. Tim and Sucrose try to figure out a way to magic up a giant sweet flower from an ancient book. Albedo knows how to read it, so they gather the ingredients, and it turns out to be a giant sweet flower called a tetratanic. An adjective not to be mispronounced as tantric, a word I'd use to describe the weird child and jungly fantasies I unfortunately have to keep seeing on my timeline. Bennett, after trying to white knight for Barbara, seriously dude, get in line, ends up getting trapped in the Thousand Winds Temple while trying to save Razor, who is also trapped in the Thousand Winds Temple. Uh, honestly man, I don't think this cell was designed to trap normally proportioned humans because the only thing that couldn't fit through these gaps is Mona's fat ass. Traveler finally gets to relax and to take a drink with the boys and the sister. The sexual tension here is higher than Paimon's booster seat, and seriously, where's Mona? Traveler is this year's Windbloom star and gets to choose which flower is the best flower of the year. Venti Expo dumps on what Windblooms actually are, and wouldn't you guess it, it can be anything to anyone. Can I, can we please tell this to Quinn? And finally, to cap off this event, cut to a montage of everyone hanging out and interacting, and seriously, where's Mona? 